Hi folks, this is Jeff Head here with today's box. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit today about different things in the trucking industry. Um, safety for one, I was out passing the truck, and as you can see, the car coming up on my right was too uh, impatient to allow me uh, safe safely to get back over the right lane. The truck up in front of me comes off of the the side of the road from a dead stop and forces everybody over there to slam their brakes on. Uh, we're gonna meet him again here in a few minutes. Uh, that company that we just passed, and it's not about that company. It's, you know, this is you know, industry wide. Um, you notice that we're in a construction zone, and 60 mile an hour drops to 45 when workers are present. You're going to see here in a minute the workers. You're going to see me slow down to 45. You're going to see the trucks from different companies in front of me, and you're going to see my friend that come off the side of the road back there just hammer on down. They don't even care. You know. The company that passes me on the left here in just a minute, they got electronic onboard recorders. Uh, they train their own drivers. Um, they got governed their trucks. All this gives the image of safety, but without the proper training and without the proper attitude behind that wheel. As you can see, onboard recorders, governed trucks, training, even the company trained you know, a lot of their own drivers. They don't stop. They just keep going. And as you can see here, in just a minute, we're going to meet a, a uh, state trooper on the side of the highway with a truck, you know, who evidently didn't want to slow down either. And watch the brake lights on the back of this trailer here. And you will see them light up just as quick as he figures out that he needs to slow down because he's running too fast because now there's a police present. Now he knows what the speed limit is. But of course, look at where I'm left in. The guy who's doing it right, I'm forced into the bad position on that highway right there. If all right, let's let's take a minute here. Let's take a minute here and, and get this right. I guess what I'm trying to say today is simply this. The FMCSA, the DOT, every government agency, institution, whatever, that makes rules for truck drivers. They, they want to, I, I understand what they're wanting to do. They're wanting to stop this stuff. They're wanting to make those highways safer. But they're making regulation after regulation after regulation. That quite frankly, as you can see, the renegades of this industry simply ignore. You can make all the regulations in the world, and people like me are going to bust our butts to follow them. We're going to spend the money, we're going to lose the time, we're going to pay the price to follow those regulations. The drivers, the companies, with the EOBRs, it made no difference. This man continues to speed through that construction zone. The governed truck made no difference. This man, or this driver, continues to speed through this construction zone. The company trains its drivers. Made no difference. Nobody ever trained this driver to slow down through those construction zones. He has that governed truck. He knows one speed, foot flat on the floor. He's not slowing down for anything. He's got a 14 hour clock. He's got to be put there by the government. It makes no difference. You can regulate us out the wazoo and the safe and legal truck drivers are going to go bankrupt following the rules, and the renegades who don't give a crap about nothing but their paycheck are going to continue to break them. If you want safe and legal truckers out on that highway, you're going to have to figure out that by regulating us to death, all you are doing is bankrupting us. The renegades are still going to look safe. They're going to quote, you know, I got 
DOBRs and, and I've got governed trucks and I train my drivers and guess what these guys are doing? Ignoring every single little bit that the government, the DOT, the FMCSA, everything they're doing, they're just simply ignoring. You've got to install standards for training. You've got to hire and find drivers who actually care about safety on that highway. I call it, they got to have moral and ethics. Other people call it other things. But it all boils down to if the driver behind that where don't give one iota about keeping that highway safe, he doesn't care about those rules, the regulations, he don't care about the onboard recorder, he don't care about the governed truck. The only thing he cares about is moving that load as fast as possible. Now you top that with the fact that these companies out there will fire his butt if he doesn't move that load and put someone behind that wheel, wheel that will. serious situation here that everybody pretends to either be aware of, connected to, or doing something about. But in real life, watch this video. I can make a thousand of these videos every year. Regulating us to death is not going to fix this. EOBRs are not going to fix this. Government trucks are not going to fix this. We've got to hire and find drivers to put behind the wheels of these trucks who actually care about safety, who actually want to run legal. And we got to get the government to understand that we need training standards. that be a high enough level that these drivers know and understand that flowing through construction zones like this is, is, is not, you know, something that one needs to be doing in a, you know, in a fully loaded 18 wheeler. Yeah, you know, I, I get it lost for words. I've, I've been talking and, and writing and I've done videos. And I'm just one of many, many thousand truckers that have done this. I mean, I'm, I'm not alone. I, I know that you can get on YouTube, you can go to all kinds of social media sites and you can see us out there. We're screaming. And, you know, we're being respectful and, and we're showing up at meetings and we're making comments. But no one seems to hear, no one seems to listen. What they put out in, in the media looks looks good, sounds safe, makes great sense to, the, to someone who's never been behind the wheel of a truck. But when you get out here and you're behind the wheel of a truck and you're an owner operator like me and I'm losing dollars because I'm trying to meet all these new requirements that look safe. I'm, I'm running a legal logbook. I'm buying stuff, you know, to fix my truck that, you know, really doesn't need to be, be paid for, but, you know, it gets me past the DOT. And basically the companies are telling me, you know, we're not going to use you because, you know, you can't get the freight there on time. Um, I was turned down on a load, uh, a cross country load uh, here just a month ago because I told the uh, the agent, the, the broker, that, you know, with all these snowstorms and everything, if it gets too treacherous on that road, I'm going to shut down. I'm not going to continue on. And they told me flat out, we can't use you. 
We need a driver who's going to run that load regardless. And some driver did. And watch the news for for that next week. Two drivers got killed on the ice because they didn't shut down. Now, we have a lot of problems in this industry. And to solve them, the first thing we're going to have to do is get real with ourselves. As truckers, if we do not want the FMCSA to regulate us to death, we're going to have to police ourselves. We're going to have to look at what we're doing and say, okay, I, I need to stop this. I need to do this a different way. And as the FMCSA, they need to sit down and they need to look at what they're doing. Yeah, all these regulations are awesome. They look beautiful on paper. But to go out there and actually run a truck and make enough money to pay for the repairs and the upkeep of that truck is just simply unrealistic. We need to bring together both sides of this in some way or fashion and in the middle come up with a compromise that works. It works to keep the road safe and it works to compensate the drivers enough so that they can keep their truck safe. What we're doing now is a joke. Everybody's looking safe. Everybody's sounding safe. But when you look at what goes on out there in that highway, in just in just a second, one little mishap. The whole world comes to a dead stop. And from far too many. Dead stop is become one one heck of a reality for the one for their and so their lives and their loved ones. All right, that's enough for me. Um, everybody have a good day. Drive safe. Run legal. Hopefully you make some money at it. All right. See you, folks.